somewhere up in here is Primal Archer and Central Oregon Survival Network. So they don't know I'm coming, so I'm going to hike up in there. I know approximately where they're camping, so I'm going to hike up in there and drop in on them and have a little surprise visit from Coyote Works. I've got my EDLS pack and I'm just going to throw my pack on and start heading up the trail and see if I can find them. I think I know about where they're at. I think they were going in the vicinity of one of our bush camps, so hopefully I won't have too much trouble finding them. If I can't find them, then I'll probably head up to our high bush camp, um, which will be just a couple miles further. It's almost the end of January, and it's surprising how balmy the weather is. It's just beautiful up in here. I wouldn't put it past Central Oregon Survival Network to set up some trip wires, some alarms along the way. So I'm just moving real slow, paying attention, looking at choke points, and being really cautious around areas where there's a natural kind of a choke point and making sure to avoid any trip wires. I'd like to be able to kind of slip in on them and surprise them with my presence. So we'll see how that goes. Right here's another example of a choke point. The only logical place to walk is in between those two logs. So I'm gonna watch really close for a wire or anything. All right, I see smoke from the campfire up there. But I don't hear any voices, which concerns me. That makes me think they might be out of camp somewhere, in which case they could ambush me. All right, I wish you could see, but I think I pretty much got the drop on him. No, it's not. It's fucking right there. There's fucking comment <laughs> about somebody telling me that I'm that I should use a buck saw because I'm burning too many fucking calories. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. I got up here with a little light left and this shelter is unclaimed. Todd and I actually built this a couple of weekends ago and Jason from Primal Archer built the reflective wall but those guys have been up here all day so they built new shelters but since I only have about a half hour left worth of daylight I'm just going to sleep in this one. Um, I'll just be kind of roughing it tonight. This is a little more of a survival style shelter. I just cut a bunch of boughs to lay underneath my bedding and I'm gonna throw out my bivy, my pad and my sleeping bag in here and that'll be my home for the night. I think it'll be pretty cozy. It's a little airy. I only had about a half hour to tune it up and um, so it's there's some gaps in it but I think I'll be all right for the night. Worst case scenario, I spend the night huddled up next to the fire, right? I just staged my wood for the night. I got my smallest kind of pencil lead size stuff there then my pencil stuff, and then my big as your thumb stuff. So basically what I have here is my USGI bivy sack with my Wiggy's 35 degree bag inside it, and then a Thermarest. I threw this tarp down. This is a snug pack, 10 by 10 tarp that rides in my EDLS pack. And I just threw it down mainly so I'm up off the pitch and everything. And then also I left some slack over on the other side of my sleeping bag. So if I got a torrential downpour or I got really cold, I could pull it up over me. So my camp's pretty much set for the night. I am going to um, wander up and see Primal Archer and Central Oregon Survival Network and see what those guys are up to.